part two of how me and my sisters almost got kidnapped. I called my mom and then she looked on the cameras downstairs and somebody was in the house. She never told me what the person was doing. I guess she just didn't want me worrying, but she called 911 right away. While my two little sisters were in the closet, my six-year-old sister would not stop crying and I'm pretty sure the person downstairs heard her. At this time, my mom and her boyfriend were already on the way and so were the police. I heard him coming up the steps, so I quietly opened the closet door and promised my sisters that they would stay quiet and be calm no matter what. I didn't know what he was here for, so I hid in the side of the bed in front of the closet so that he would get to me before he got to the girls. I heard him just rummaging through stuff and stuff breaking. Then a couple minutes later, I hear the police sirens. Right as I hear the police sirens, I hear our bedroom window smash. While trying to stay as calm as I can, three policemen bust down the door. They grab me and my sisters and take us outside. About five minutes after they take us outside and put us in the back of their car, my mom and her boyfriend shows up. About 20 minutes later after he was caught, they did notify us that he was wanted for murder of two younger girls and one adult male. About $10,000 of our stuff was either missing or broke. Then about a month later when we were capable to, we did move. Nothing has happened since.